Hello, I'm Reverend the Dick Coughlin 777. I'm here today to give you a little bit of a lesson in good old Christian apologetics. And when I say good old, I mean brand new. You see, I've been on YouTube for a while now, and I see all of these atheists on here asking all these questions, and I see Christians fumbling and bumbling over trying to give the right answer to make themselves look good. Well, I say it's about fucking time that Christianity, yes, I said fucking, right, I think it's about time that we stopped trying to make ourselves look good. Let's just see Christianity for what it really is when you break it down. So the first question I'm going to deal with is the old favourite, why won't God heal amputees? Now I've heard several Christians trying to answer this saying, well, you know, God, God not, not, is what they basically say. They give really vague answers, sort of like, well, God's just trying to enliven their spirit. That's not it at all. The reason God won't heal amputees is quite fucking simple. In order for the amputee to be healed, they would have to pray to God. And in order for them to pray to God, they would have to put their hands together and pray. But of course, they've lost one or more of their arms in an industrial accident and such, and so they can't put their fucking hands together. If they can't put their hands together, then they clearly can't talk to God. Those are the rules. I didn't make them. It's not fair. You might say, well, what if they just lost their legs and not their hands? Well, they can't get on their knees and pray. And they can't get on their knees and do other such things, can they? No, lots of fun things can be done on one's knees. Anyway, now people might say, well, that's not fair, that's not fair. Well, actually, it's perfectly bloody fair, because if those people who lost their arms had had any foresight, they would have taken advantage of the fact they had two hands and prayed on a daily basis that they didn't lose them, but if they did, would God be so kind, if he's not too busy, to put them back 